Certain movies are inextricably tied to Halloween, like the beloved Halloween Town. The film featured Debbie Reynolds as a witch and grandmother to Marnie, played by Kimberly J. Brown. For our flashback series, Kimberly spoke to R. Donna Farazin about her memories from the set. Kimberly, I feel like I'm living out a fall play date right now. <laughs> My childhood play dates were watching you. I'm thinking about the Disney Channel voiceover, Halloween Town, starring Kimberly J. Brown and Debbie Reynolds. Take me back to a little bit of that time when you were younger, when you auditioned for this role of Marnie. You starred in the first Halloween Town when you were 13. What was the process like auditioning at that young age and then getting the role? I think I did two rounds of auditions. I just loved Marnie so much. She was so courageous and determined. I really admired her in a way. If that's possible with characters. And I was so excited when I found out that I had gotten it. Roles like that didn't come along all the time, like to be able to kind of play a you know, teenage witch, really. I feel like it's almost more common than it was back then. I was thrilled. You say you admire her. How would you describe Marnie's character? I think Marnie, you know, she was trying to figure out who she was at 13. Okay, I'm practically a grown up. I'm certainly old enough to make my own choices. She had so much courage and determination and really took a lot of risks and just kept moving forward without even being sure of like what was going to happen next. And so many young girls look up to her then, but also now people are starting to watch this movie for the first time. How does that make you feel not only knowing that, you know, it's sort of become a Halloween cult classic, but also garnering this new demographic of fans too? All aboard for the Marvel world! It's incredible. It really blows my mind. I meet multiple generations of fans. I meet grandma and her daughter and then her young daughter who are all watching it. It's just amazing. It's gone way beyond our wildest expectations when we first shot the first one. I'm so grateful to the fans because they have really just given it this whole life and over social media and now with Disney Plus, young kids are watching it. So it's really just incredible. I'm so honored that people still love it. This is Halloween Town, just like the book. Uh, or maybe we fell asleep on the bus. Yeah, that's it. It's all a dream. Decorations, the goblins, the witches, the ghosts. And Grandma, she was a dream, too. I love that you mentioned that this movie is for all different generations, from the grandmother to the mother to the daughter. And I feel that that's what was echoed on screen as well with you, with Judith, with Debbie Reynolds. What was that relationship like to work with the legendary Debbie Reynolds? That is pretty incredible. And also at such a young age, was there anything that she taught you or said that sort of shaped you? Oh, absolutely. And that's the way they use their magic. She was just incredibly kind and treated all of us kids as peers right from the very start. She looked out for every actor, every crew member on set. She loved telling stories and jokes about her life and making you laugh at her expense was always one of her favorite things. But over the years, I think Marnie and Aggie's relationship very much mirrored what Kimberly and, and Debbie's relationship was. And there's so much of just getting to be around such a legend and just such an amazing human being that will just always stay with me. Was there a specific scene you remember being sort of the most awestruck by? I think in the first Halloween Town, flying on the broom with, with Debbie was a really special scene and day for me. It was our last day of shooting and it was, we spent the entire afternoon up on a big stool in front of a blue screen. And that was like my first day of just one-on-one -on -one time with her. And so it was so special for that reason. But it was so exciting to, to see it afterwards and go, oh my gosh, look, we look like we're flying. Okay, now I have to get to the good stuff. Can you tell me a little bit about your love story with your fiance, Daniel Kuntz, and just what is in the secret sauce of former <laughs> co-stars who then meet up later in life and get together? It's completely unexpected. Um, people ask us like, oh, well, you know, you must have known something while you're filming or had some, you know, had crushes or something. And that was absolutely not the case. Your only power was the power to keep us apart, Cal. And now you don't have that power anymore. I think it had been at least 10 or 15 years since we had seen each other. We had stayed social media friends for a bit. 
and I was filming some new sketches for my YouTube channel. Were we dating during Halloween Town too? <laughs> and that is a big uh, no. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> for many reasons. But that was a long time ago. I thought it would be fun to have come have him do some because the fans, you know, would love it. And so I reached out and we ended up getting together and, and catching up. And just through the course of that kind of started realizing we started getting feelings for each other. And it was like, oh, wow, this is unexpected. When we finally went public with it, it was it's been so fun over the years just to watch all the fans reactions. Most of them warned me, you know, to continue to hide my spell book and, you know, that he's, he probably is, you know, there's probably something else going on. It's been so much fun to, uh, to, you know, see the, the fans' reactions to it all. I think that Halloween at your guys' house would be awesome. It's <laughs> definitely extra special holiday now, considering uh, just our lives, our relationship, everything. It's amazing how it's all come together that, um, is it, and I was gonna say art imitated life. I guess it's life imitating art in a sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you hope that people take away from the movie and from the spirit of Halloween? I hope that they take away that embracing yourself is so much more important than what other people think. I think that was always the common message throughout all the Halloween Town movies and that is the the great magical aspect of halloween town in the sense that they celebrate halloween it's halloween every day but also everybody is is loved and cherished for exactly who they are and i think that's why marnie takes to it so quickly and all of the cromwell kids do but i think that's just so important especially now that kids and even adults you know that we all get reminded yeah. of that we can all use a little bit of Marnie's spirit. Absolutely. Thanks, kids. See you in the afterlife. So terrific to hear from Kimberly. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.